Uh, as a lot of students start to head back uh, to campus here, uh, there are a lot of questions about how we can do so safely and technology is playing an increasing role in that. And Motorola Solutions is offering some interesting capabilities there to help schools monitor students who might not be wearing their masks or adhering to social distancing measures here, warning teachers and administrators when that might be going on. And here to discuss the Big Brother tech at hand uh, with us is Mahesh uh, Saptarishi, Motorola Solutions Chief Technology Officer. And Mahesh, thanks for taking the time to chat. I mean, this is all very interesting technology and no doubt something that I think a lot of teachers would want in schools to help make sure that students are staying safe. But when we're talking about this, this technology, how have you seen it rolled out so far, again, in, its, in a pandemic where a lot of people might not be so familiar with the technology at hand? So it is just starting to get rolled out. So it's still early days. Uh, we have schools that have deployed uh, our video security solutions uh, previously. And so we have some experience in terms of how it's used. Uh, largely what we're talking about here are technologies that help validate assumptions uh, as to how often uh, students are compliant with mask wearing, uh, how capable they are to maintain social distancing. Uh, as policymakers, uh, teachers, administrators decide how to bring students back at what rate, whether it's a hybrid model, a stay at home model, uh, bring everybody back in model. We want that to be a data-driven decision. Uh, and what this technology does is it helps support a data-driven decision on the part of the administrators and the policymakers. And we're just showing a little bit of, of how it works right now. And when you think about it, I mean, a lot of people might not have realized that this technology is out there, but you guys trained neural networks here to kind of recognize when a mask isn't being worn. Uh, when it comes to, uh, I don't know, I'm just thinking back to my school experience. A lot of these administrators might not have the best handle of, of technology here. So far, what have you seen in how they are using it to monitor and who's really in charge of the principal? Are teachers uh, using this technology to kind of operate in the classroom? What have you seen so far? So the primary use of this technology is, is not by watching video. In fact, uh, our goal is to make watching video um, irrelevant uh, for this. So what we wanna be able to do is provide a very simple dashboard. Uh, and so the dashboard really accounts for three things. Uh, are people wearing masks and what fraction of the population within a facility is wearing masks? Uh, how capable are they in maintaining a sufficient amount of social distance? Uh, and also what is the le relative level of occupancy within that facility? We present this in a, within a dashboard and ultimately to make sure that the health risks are mitigated uh, the goal is to make sure that we're able to manage the movement of people uh, through the facility, manage occupancy as appropriate. So the administrators simply get this dashboard. They are able to see the trends, the increases and decreases with compliance, and they're able to measure the changes that they're making towards, uh, say, facility layout, uh, the number of uh, people allowed in a given area in the school, mm -hmm. uh, uh, movement of people through the facility, they're able to measure how effective those changes are in making sure that compliance is, uh, is raised. And Mahesh, I mean, when we're talking about it, I, I don't have any kids, but just to play devil's advocate here, since I know a lot of parents watching the show might raise questions about the ethics of this. And I know you're talking about not using facial recognition or not using video necessarily to track and monitor kids in school, but we have seen technology used already in the unfortunate uh, kind of world we live in and trying to bolster security here to prevent uh, tragedies on campuses around the country. Uh, but to those parents who might raise suspicion of what this technology in the classroom, around the classroom might mean for the next steps of monitoring our children, what do you say to some of those fears in saying that this is a good use case of technology to keep people safe? <sighs> So ultimately, we urge all our customers to take privacy, to take ethics uh, very seriously. Uh, and what we want to do is to make sure that within our software solutions, within uh, our, our system as a whole, we give the knobs necessary uh, for our customers, uh, the people who are subject to this uh, uh, to this uh, technology, like the students and the parents in this case, we want to give them the knobs necessary to control compliance with that policy. So whether it is making sure that video data are only retained for a certain amount of time, 
making sure only certain people have access to the video, uh, making sure that only certain people can search video for certain sorts of things, making sure the sharing of that video is controlled. We want to make sure that the, the compliance and proper use of that is appropriately maintained. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I got uh, a story that was told to me. Uh, a parent called uh, the school and said, hey, my, my child hasn't come back uh, from school uh, yet today. And it turned out that uh, the administrator within a few minutes managed to search uh, uh, through the video system and say, hey, that child was actually picked up uh, by the older sibling. Uh, and a quick call later, the parent was able to confirm that the child is actually safe. That sense of relief, that sense of making sure that the child is safe, uh, that is what we are after in designing our system. But we also want to make sure privacy and compliance are taken into account. And we have audit capabilities and other mechanisms within our system to make sure that the right use cases, use cases uh, that are decided by both the customers and the parents in this case, uh, uh, they, they, they agree to it and they're making sure the technology is used correctly. And I'm not sure at the beginning of the year how many people out there watching might have expected that wearing masks and cameras, making sure that people are wearing masks would have been something we needed in schools in 2020. But here we are, uh, regardless. Mahesh Saptarishi, Motorola Solutions Chief Technology Officer, appreciate you bringing us that. Thank you very much, Zach.